Hello guys, it's Stephen here, back with another video. How are you all doing today? Manchester City have finally announced a not-so-secret transfer. Philippe Sandler from PEC Zwolle, if that's pronounced correctly. Uh, over in the Eredivisie, the young, talented Dutch defender has finally joined Manchester City, publicly at very least. It's been common knowledge that he joined Manchester City a while ago, really. And I'm going to be honest, he isn't a name that was overly familiar with me in the first place. I've done a little bit of research today about him anyway. I thought today would be a good chance to talk about who he is, what he can bring, he's future Manchester City, his strength, his style and all that kind of stuff and basically just give a little bit of a background on this new Manchester City signing. Before I go too far though, don't forget if you are new to this channel, uh, give it a subscribe and give this video a like. Do subscribe because I'm creating Manchester City fan content every single week for you all the time constantly. I like to do a pretty good job at it. I am biased of course but hit that subscribe button anyway and help support a fellow Manchester City fan. But let's get on to the actual background of Philip Sandler. Now this man is 21 years old and he came from the Ajax Academy before moving to PEC Zwolle in 2016. And he's also a Dutch youth international who's played four times for the under-20s there. It was his first real breakout season last year after joining on a free transfer from Ajax. Uh, he had a season before that, but it was this season last year that really alerted City to his potential. City actually apparently signed him around March, but wasn't really confirmed until now. But he played 30 times in the Eredivisie and stood out with his strong, composed performances. And City duly stepped in. In terms of his price, it's been rumoured that he's around £3 million, which for a 21-year-old youth Dutch international, these days, it isn't really that big a deal. Given the fact that we just, and I'll talk about this in another video, let Bersan City in a go for £3 million, it's kind of just kind of cancelled each other out there. £3 million for someone who could potentially be a very good footballer, well, it's quite promising, isn't it? It's not a bad bit of money at all. It's one that we can definitely afford, even if he just becomes another potential uh, sale at some point in the future, following the Aaron Moy path. I'm sure we'll make a profit on him, so it's basically peanuts from Manchester City really. It's also not absolutely nothing. It's relatively substantial. Ah, who am I kidding? It's nothing. But in the general grand of things, it's not a free transfer. So they put a little bit of money into him. So there's some confidence that he's a good player at very least. Onto his actual strengths of his game. Well, this is all just based off YouTube. You have to trust me here. Or not trust me, just trust the internet. Trust YouTube. Just various forums that I've been reading around. And what strikes me after watching clips of how he plays is for one, he's tall. He has been compared to Virgil van Dijk stylistically and it isn't a bad thing to compare to the most expensive centre-half in football history is it but he's strikingly tall that's one thing that does genuinely stand out he looks composed he looks commanding and that physique definitely will help him if he does want to have a career uh, in the Premier League he also looks like he's very good on the ball the clips I've seen so far he's got that ability to break the lines that is the buzzword for a Guardiola team and if you can't do that you haven't got a chance at Manchester City and he seems to be able to I've seen him ping lots of three balls past three or four defenders and he has a tendency to step into midfield as well he seems to read the game pretty well he seems to be one those kind of defenders that likes to think but not afraid of a physical battle either he also seems to have a decent turn of pace uh, basically he's got a very rounded skill set what I see of him he doesn't look too dissimilar to John Stones but that's definitely not a, a bad thing in my personal opinion but there are some rumours that he can maybe play as a central midfielder too which does bring me on to my next point he can also play as a holding midfielder and he play as a centre back uh, basically it gives him a rounded skill set to be able to kind of be useful in a few positions if he could be moulded potentially as someone like Julian Weigel kind of uh, number six and he does have that kind of physique from a distance looking like them or maybe as a long term uh, successor to Fernandinho if he can hang around City for at least a few months he could make a state there to be this kind of surprise package maybe this year's Zinchenko but that does lead me on to the very next point as well his future now I know we're all thinking announced the loan to Girona announced the loan to Toulouse or where he's going to go he might go on loan. I would not be surprised at all if he does go loan before the end of this transfer window. But the quotes were interesting when he did sign for Manchester City. I'm going to read them out now. He said, I heard that scouts from City were watching me, but you do not expect as a player to go from PEC's wall to City. I thought initially that they were keeping tabs on me did not expect them to approach me as well during the winter break transfer the club. But that's what happened and I'm delighted. City scouts came to Amsterdam for talks and he showed they how they go about the business and I was very impressed with the plans that they have for me. He said he looks forward to playing Aguero on the training ground as well. I can't find the exact quote, but basically, uh, the rumours are, and yeah, Sway said it a few months ago, that City have plans for him. Now, I don't know if this is just one of those things that they say to get him through the door, but the rumours are that they do generally have plans for him a little bit. Now, 
the best case scenario I can see for him, because I still think he'll go on loan, is that maybe he just stays until January. He has six months around the squad. He trains with Guardiola. He trains with the players. Maybe he comes in like a, a third auxiliary option for the number six role. Maybe he learns a little bit how the centre-halves play at Manchester City and just gets that contact training time with Guardiola because it's going to be very hard for him to get into the team. But maybe he's a raw diamond in the making. Now, apparently he had a bit of an injury, so that's why he wasn't involved in the pre-season stuff, though it wasn't officially announced. I'm not sure why it wasn't announced, even though everyone knew it happened back in March. One of those weird ones, really, but it's not for us to worry about. But it, it could be around the first team. This could be one of those kind of little signs that goes under the radar. And just kind of happens, and before we know it, he's, he's playing a game in the League Cup or something around November or something like that. I would like to see that happen, but I'm not going to get my hopes up. Anyway, guys, if you know more about this player, do let me know in the comments. I'm going to be honest, everything I've learned is from YouTube. Of course, it is. Everything I ever learned is from YouTube. That's just the internet in 2018, is it? But I can't be expected to know loads about a player that most of us have never even heard of six months ago. But he looks like a good, promising player. And if City have got him, well, we do have a good record so far of picking up these young talents and making them have a very good career. Career. Hopefully some of them Man City one day, but if not, I'm sure he's a decent little player. Guys, thank you for watching this video. Let me know what you think of Philip Sandler. What is his future going to be? Where will he play? All that kind of stuff. Get in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. Like this video and I will see you next time.